What is up all you beautiful souls? Welcome to today's video. I've been meaning to make a video like this for a while now. So a personal goal of mine that I made for myself this year was to read more books. I enjoy reading and there's just so much good literature out there, but I've never really pushed myself to actually make a conscious effort to read more. If I had to guess how many books I've probably read in the past, honestly, probably like one to three books a year, not very much. So this year I told myself, you know what? I'm gonna push myself to read more because to be honest, there is a never ending list of books that I just personally wanna read. I currently read a total of six books this year and I'm on my seventh. And so this is just gonna be the very first installment of Bash's book review. So to start off my year, I picked up two books that weren't very thick, pretty thin, pretty easy reads. This being the first one and this being the second one. Now, both of these books you could easily read in about a couple of days. Maybe if you're a slow reader, you want to digest it, take your time a week at most. But yeah, they're just very easy reads and you could pump them out really quick if you really wanted to. And so the first one is A Chaotic Guide to Mental Clarity. Your Head is a Houseboat. And this book is actually done by Struthless, who is a badass YouTuber. I highly recommend you check him out if you haven't. And he's also an artist, so all the illustrations in this book are all done by him. Just to give you an idea of the illustrations and what to expect in the book. So, it's exactly as it's titled. It's a guide for mental clarity. Like anything in life, if you neglect it, it will eventually catch up to you if you do not take care of it. You know, for instance, some people, they complain about, you know, their depression and anxiety. And yes, while these are real disorders, at the same time, some of these people complain about it. If you look at their daily habits and how they take care of themselves, well, it makes sense why they're feeling this way. From, you know, overindulging in things that aren't good for us, from junk food to junk content to drinking too much or smoking too much or whatever it might be. Or, you know, maybe they don't work out and then they wonder, why are they depressed all the time? Why do they have this anxiety? All these things play a role. Abuse something that's not good for you too much and neglect and stop paying attention to certain things. These aspects will catch up to you. But luckily, Struthless got us and he wrote this book. And it just filled with very humorous and funny analogies. Uh, the main one being that your head is a houseboat. And he even says, why not just a house? Why a houseboat? And he says it's because a houseboat, if you're not paying attention, there's a very real danger and you could easily crash and sink your boat. And just like in real life, if you don't take care of your mental, your physical, your spiritual, you know, all of it plays a part. But yeah, if you don't take care of your head, these things will catch up to you from negative thought to anxiety, depression, whatever it might be. Some of the chapters and analogies that he uses in this book are cleaning out the clutter, the freeloader party the river to the ocean, the five bosses, the wacky windshield, the grumpy sock puppets, welcome to the zoo, kid you and the phone and setting sail. And he just teaches you ways to get rid of everything from other people's opinions to changing your perspective and outlook to letting certain thoughts and beliefs live rent free in your head, uh, keeping that inner kid alive, cleaning out unwanted things, unwanted thoughts, negativity, and so forth and so on. The second book I read this year was It's All in Your Head by Russ. And in this beautiful, bright yellow, compact book, he just talks about his mindset and his journey to how we know him now, to his level of success and fame and to where he is now in his life. Part one's delusion, part two is persistence, and part three is gratitude. Some of the chapters are manifest, speak your goals into existence. Since I was broke, be delusional. The formula, you versus you. Boomerang, what you throw out will come back. The other side, on the other side of your fear is your truth. Always new, hard work beats talent. Pull the trigger, don't hesitate. Naked, keep your barriers down. The stakeout, plotting while patient. And so forth and so on. I could keep reading, but I think you kind of get it. And honestly, it's filled with good knowledge. You know, when you're when you're down, you do have to be somewhat delusional to believe that you can achieve and conquer and obtain these things that you want, you know, a certain level of success. And there's a great saying, you know, those who say they can and those who say they can't are both right. If you don't believe you can do something, if you don't think something is achievable, you're not even going to make the efforts 
and take the small steps, the small goals to lead you there. You're going to give up before you even start. And if you can believe it, well, guess what? You're going to put one foot in front of another and start focusing on the smaller things to lead you to the bigger picture. And you know, hard work beats talent. That's another saying you might have heard. I've always heard the story of, you know, the athlete, the basketball player that because he was naturally gifted, naturally talented at basketball, he skipped practices, slacked off, maybe didn't take the best care of himself. Whereas the person who was not as naturally gifted, who you know, sucked when they started. The person that sucked had the dedication, the drive, and the motivation to get them to where they wanted to be because they weren't naturally gifted. And personally, I love sucking at something because when you suck at something, that's the beginning of getting good at something. If you're at the bottom, you can only go up from there as long as you take the right steps and procedures. For instance, I am doing calligraphy, as you guys may know, and I've been at it for about three months. And of course, like anything else in life, you know, when you start it, you suck. But to me, that's exhilarating. That's exciting because I can only get better. And it's filled with tons of examples and just, you know, where his mindset was and all this stuff that was in his head that got him to where he is and how we know him now one thing i'm gonna leave off on before signing out of this video is uh the manifesting and speak your goals into existence if you know yourself and you know you have what it takes you know you have the work ethic you know you have the belief you know you can obtain these things so one way you may manifest them is by telling people what you're going to do before you even do it and by doing that, you even hold yourself accountable because by telling someone something, you're like, okay, well, you know, I can't make myself look like a fool. I've told everyone this is going to happen. Now I got to put in the work and actually make it happen. But yeah, I highly recommend both of these books. You know, especially if you're a fan of Struthless, the YouTuber, or a fan of Russ, the rapper. And even if you're not, you can still take away great things from both of these books. Let me know in the comments what you are currently reading. And if you needed some new books to pick up, some new literature to dive into, I really hope you know one of these books, if not both of them, resonated with you and you find something new that you can start reading. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been an episode of Bash's Book Review. You can definitely expect more of these. Stay blessed. Don't stress. Get out there. Attack the day. Till next time. Much love, guys. I'm out.